welcome back to The Ordinary Snob. I'm Susan and thanks for coming back to the channel. So today I'm going to do a review on a certain brand of lipsticks. Everyone, all, let me phrase this, all the beauty gurus I, I, I follow have done this review. Um, again, if you're new to the channel, I am an ordinary consumer giving you my advice and recommendations to the ordinary consumer and that's you. I'm not a makeup artist. I know what I like. I know textures I like and which textures I don't. With that being said, let's get right into this, shall we? The lipsticks are by Pat McGrath. If you don't know who Pat McGrath is, that is Pat McGrath. She is quote unquote, the mother of makeup. She is a British makeup artist. She did start out on her own website and uh, I think it released into Sephora with eye makeup and then the uh, glittered lipstick. So you put the lipstick on and then she had like glitter over it or you can do like an iridescent uh, sheen or gloss. It is quite a bit expensive. However, it's worth it. Now I will say the first wave of makeup. Somebody who I know bought it and showed me the packaging. The packaging seemed very cheap. It didn't seem like it was worth a hundred and some odd dollars to buy it. But what was in it was. So that's the difference. So a while ago she had a set of lipsticks out. I forgot the price point at the moment. But I kind of pick and chose which colors I wanted. There was one color I think I did not want and it was a bright coral color. I'm not a fan of coral at all. These lipsticks look like this. They have a little lip on them. They're so cute and precious. Nice weight. I bought seven of them. I can count, yay. I bought some nudes, a red, and colors. And I'm going to show you which ones I bought. So, here we are gonna do swatches. Um, my arm looks a little dry because I've been wiping off with Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. I'm not sure I like this, but you know, it gets, everything off. So the first swatch is 1995. <clears throat> the next one is going to be Omi. So kind of similar. And then this one is Flesh 3. Oh, I just chunked it. <laughs> so that's Flesh 3. Then we're going to go to Full Panic. Let's do Full Panic. Elson, which is the nice neutral red. It's got a blue undertone, so pretty much fits for everyone. That's the red. Next one we will do is Antidote, which is a lovely shade of purple. That. And then for final, we have McMenemy. So these are all the shades and colors um, that I have purchased. So for a good spring, summer, winter, fall, I love them. And uh, sometimes, like I said, I'll put over, um, I think I said this, I don't know, uh, Bite Beauty I have um, is their Rose Pearl. And it looks very nice. I don't know if you'll be able to see, you know, I'll do it on my hand. So it kind of gives it a nice little iridescent look to it. It gives a little different look to it. Um, but in the sunlight, I promise it just sparkles and shines as you see on the package. I don't know if you can see how like it's a holographic type thing. So yeah, like I said, it's definitely worth the money. I mean, you didn't have to buy all these colors like I did. Um, but when you find your shade, it's a good investment. And uh, she does have other lipsticks, lip glosses that are coming out or actually are out. So, you know, once Sephora checks, you know, gets them, check them out, see how they are, or go to the Pat McGrath website and buy them from there. Now, the one thing about these, like I said, um, they are $38 a piece. <laughs> I know you're like, what? What the hell? No, $38 a piece. They are pigmented. If you see a review by someone else and they're like, hey, these are pigmented because you know most of the beauty girls will say that, whatever. It is true. I will tell you, it is true. They are pigmented. One swipe and you're golden. You may want to fill in a few places here and there. I will say some other beauty girls did say that the darker color, like Antidote, it was a little patchy where like when you would apply the color, it kind of, um, I don't want to say skipped, but you could see where it kind of sheared out. Overall, I would like to say these were worth my money. Do I wear them all the time? No. These are a matte trance 
lipstick. However, they feel more like a satin. They do not have a shine to them, so that's why they're considered a matte, but they're very comfortable to wear. They're not like a matte lipstick that dries on your lips because they don't come out liquid and then dry. It is a actual lipstick. A little goes a long way. They are comfortable to wear. Sometimes I will put like a little lip topper over it. Would I recommend these? Absolutely. So again, thanks for tuning in to The Ordinary Snob. See you next time. Hold up.